here with another question from topic 5.1. We're looking at solving problems involving electric fields and Coulomb's law. If the charge on a 10 centimeter radius metal sphere is 2 microcoulombs, calculate the force experienced by a tenth of a microcoulomb charge placed 10 centimeters from the surface of this sphere. So what we have is a sphere. It has a radius of 10 centimeters and a charge of 2 microcoulombs, but there's another charge here, an additional 10 centimeters away from the surface, with a charge of a tenth of a microcoulomb. And what we want to find is the force on this charge, the magnitude of it. So for part C, we'll just use Coulomb's law. The force between two charged particles, and we'll treat this sphere as a particle, is just K, Q1, Q2 on R squared. K is a constant 9 times 10 to the 9th. Q1 is the charge of charge 1, 2 microcoulombs. And then we have the charge on charge 2, a tenth of a microcoulomb. Divide that by their separation, which is 20 centimeters. Plug that into your calculator, and what you'll get is 4.5 times 10 to the negative 2. Since we're talking about force, the units would be newtons. For part D, it says calculate the force if the space between the sphere and the charged particle was concrete. So it's not free space. This whole area is now concrete. And we're going to have to deal with the permittivity of concrete, which is 4.5 times higher than the permittivity of free space. To answer this, we need to recognize that k is a simplification. k, the constant, is equal to 1 on 4 pi epsilon, where epsilon is the permittivity of the substance, usually the permittivity of free space. So the k that we're familiar with, 9 times 10 to the 9th, is 1 on 4 pi epsilon naught, which is the permittivity of free space. So what we want to calculate is the force with the permittivity, not of free space, but of the concrete. So there's Coulomb's law without the simplification. We have this constant instead of k. We know that epsilon is 4 times, 4.5 times epsilon naught, so I'll write this as 1 on 4 pi times 4.5 epsilon naught times q1, q2 on r squared. The next thing that I can do is pull the 4.5 out front, and this gives me 1 on 4 pi epsilon naught, q1, q2 on r squared. And this you'll recognize as k, 9 times 10 to the 9th, which brings us back to k, q1, q2 on r squared, which we know the value of. We calculated it in part c. So this is 1, point, 1 on 4 fifths of 4.5 times 10 to the negative 2. That was our answer from the previous section, which comes to 1 times 10 to the negative 2 newtons.